Hey guys, welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. This is episode number 286, and I'm calling this episode Playing Mind Games with Your Mind. Kind of a strange title, but hopefully you'll get what I'm talking about in just a minute. Decades ago, I discovered that there are secrets or at least tips that can help you and I play mind games with ourselves to help get through some of the dark days that I think both of us have. There's a neurotransmitter in all of our brains called dopamine, and that's a very powerful molecule that, that kind of, it's, it's uh, partnered with adrenaline, which is the fight or flight uh, molecule that gives you the sense of fighting towards something or running from something. If you've ever watched a sports team play, and as they get closer to a score, that feeling you get meaning that excitement, that anticipation, is dopamine. That's, that's that feeling you get, that you're right on the edge of seeing a victory. Or maybe in your own life, that you've been, in, at least in your own mind, very close to achieving some sort of goal. And that excitement, that adrenaline kicks in, that, that's that dopamine that makes you feel good. Dr. Andrew Huberman, if you haven't looked him up on YouTube, look him up, again, Dr. Andrew Huberman fantastic stuff that he teaches. He says, quote, celebrating the win more than the pursuit actually sets you up for failure in the future. Again, celebrating the win more than the pursuit actually sets you up for failure in the future. So think about that a minute. It is better for you biochemically to get excited about going for your goals in life than once you reach a goal. Now, to me, at least prior to learning that, didn't make any sense at all. I thought that once I reached a goal that that would be the peak of my excitement. That's not how the brain works. The, the drive, the effort to achieve the goals that you have in life are what keeps the dopamine going, that keeps pushing you forward. So it's so important. That's why I've said for decades, it's so important to have a to-do list. Write a to-do list the night before your following day so that in the morning, you will have something to, to work toward, which then kicks in the dopamine to get you to achieve certain things. Now, there are, there's, there's, a, there's a bad side of that too. And there, the bad side of that is addictions, things like gambling and, and drinking too much alcohol and, and drug abuse and cigarette smoking and, and other things mess with the dopamine levels in your brain, which then impacts everything because once the dopamine kicks in, for some people, it can be addictive, especially when there's chemicals involved or habits like, like gambling. Now, there's, most, some of you don't know that alcoholism runs in the paternal side of my family. Well, I decided way back when I was in my late teens that I wouldn't drink alcohol, ever because knowing that alcoholism runs deep into my family tree, to me it would be foolish to invite that temptation or that potential temptation into my world that would again impact my family. So I, I learned through observation that there are some things that I need to stay away from because certain things run in my family. How about you? Are there certain things in your family that maybe you need to walk away from that you're doing that has not been productive in your own life. So if you develop a set of rules that when you are maybe tempted to do certain things or maybe have a set of rules where you won't do certain things, the, the will not do rules. There's other things that I will not do because I know that that leads down a path that is not very healthy. So the power of restraint and telling yourself no is a very powerful motivator. Again, you have, to, you have to set boundaries, at least the successful people have to set boundaries in their lives in, or for, in order for them to maximize the biochemical stuff that goes on in their brains to make things a little easier for them to reach some of the goals that they have in their life. So when you choose to lean into becoming stronger emotionally and physically, your levels of dopamine will give you a springboard to help you learn faster and do things faster, but you have to leverage that on purpose. You have to play those mind games with yourself and develop those habits in your own life 
that can help you reach some of the goals that you haven't been able to reach so far. So in closing, if you, if you learn to leverage the seesaw effect of dopamine, it can change your life in dramatic ways. So learn more about it. Don't just take what I've taught here today. Discover some, some more, research it more, how dopamine can literally transform your life in a good way. My name is John Carver. Thanks so much for watching.